Yeah, right, guys, going on? Welcome back. It is episode number 17 of the Newcastle United career mode, and it's the finale of season two as we face Napoli in the Champions League final. Going for a double after winning Newcastle's first ever Premier League, but of course, having the defeat in the FA Cup semi final to Wolves was the one negative in what has otherwise been an amazing season this year. There is no treble opportunity today. But uh, Napoli runners up in the Serie A this season. Uh, they, of course, got to the final by knocking out Real Madrid, who knocked out us uh, last year in the last 16. So I thought it was going to be a meeting of uh, us versus Real Madrid again. But uh, fair play to Napoli, man, going all the way to the Champions League final. But it's it's not actually that much of a surprise because, again, runners up in the Serie A, they've got an amazing team. As we know, last year uh, in real life, winning that Serie A, reaching the quarterfinals of the Champions League, they, they should have got to the semis, in my opinion. They really bottled it against AC Milan, I felt. But... Even so, they've got a great team. Pal Torres, one of my uh, favourite centre-halves in this year's FIFA, is in their back line. Uh, they've also got Elmas, the young Macedonian, who grows really, really well uh, in this year's FIFA as well. Kai Havertz is there, moving on from Chelsea, but not to Arsenal. Now at the uh, Stadio San Paolo. Uh, Zambo is there, once a Fulham, uh, of course, as we remember. And uh, going forward, they've still got Kvitschka. Kvarachkilia, the uh, Georgian winger who is just... Uh, what a player, like, seriously, what a player, honestly. He's got such an amazing future ahead of him. And uh, whilst our seaman has gone to PSG, it is still a really good team. So I would definitely say we're favourites, no doubt about it. And we've become a five-star team ourselves now. And, you know, I mentioned before that we are... I wouldn't say we are the very best team in England now, but we are definitely up there. There's no doubt about that. We've, we've got what it takes to compete with the big boys in England, hence why we won the title this year. And, and as for Napoli themselves, like I said, it's a, it's a really, really good team. But I, I would say ours is slightly better. So we are favourites of this, no doubt about it. But I wouldn't necessarily say it would be an easy tie where we are what you call overwhelming favourites. So heading into the Champions League final then, uh, we put Napoli in their home kit for this one here. It sucks that they no longer have their... Um, their real kits and their real badge in the game. But the to the game, we are playing at the Bernabeu, uh, Real Madrid Stadium. Very interesting indeed. And, uh, of course, all the sliders are reset to 50 for the um, for the finals. Obviously, I'll, uh, I'll tweak them during a season. But for the final, I always reset them to 50. And, um, yeah, we don't need to make any changes to our lineup as we are fully fit after resting all of our lads on match day 38 in the, in the uh, Premier League finale as we'd already won the title going into the final day. So, this is it. Champions League final going for Newcastle's first ever major European honour as we take on the Italians, Napoli, at the Bernabeu. Come on the tune. First chance falling to Napoli here with Labotka playing it across. And oh, it's found the back of the net. Zambo's drilled it in. And Napoli lead. Well, I did say we'll be favourites, but this definitely won't be a walkover. You've got to respect Napoli. And the South Italians have taken the lead. Well, it's, it's a really well-worked goal, to be fair. Cutting the ball inside from the right. And Zambo, just inside the area, beats Nick Pope, arrowing in to the bottom corner. Napoli in front, and we trail at the Bernabeu. Okay. I mean, I did say this is not going to be a walkover. But the first shot on target find the back of net is not all you want to see. Can we respond instantly? Alexander Rizak, our top scorer this season, says, calm down, guys. Calm down. We're back on level terms instantly. Zambo with the finish. Cancelled out instantly by Izak, and it's our top two players this season linking up for the goal. Alexander to the rescue. How many times have we said that this season? 1 1, back on level terms. Napoli looking to get back in front here. Good block by Polina on Hubert. And away we go on the break. Now I see Diaby there making a run down the right. Can he get in behind Mario Rui? He can't. Good. Good composure there from the left back, and it's cleared by Napoli. It's been a tough first half, this really tough. Really tough. And again, even though we are the favourites this occasion, don't forget we were firm favourites against Wolves in the FA Cup semi-final. 
and absolutely blew that one, losing 3 2. So, are we going to see yet again another disappointing loss in a game where we are favourites here? Napoli looking to restore their lead with the goal scorer Zambo to Mario Rui, who's kept the RB quiet for the most part tonight. As the Georgian plays it inside to Elmaz. And Pope makes a great save. Three minutes to go, and I tell you what, we get into the break still tied at 1 1. I'll take it. This has been a really tough first half here. Really tough. And Pope fists that one away of an unorthodox bit of goalkeeping. Does enough, and we shall clear. My goodness, this has been a tough first half here. Really tough. Napoli looking to end this first half, restoring the lead. We're into the fourth minute of stoppage time when it was only supposed to be one allocated. Napoli playing on, shot blocked, trips back to the keeper, back to the keeper. There we go, there we go, there we go. And that will do it. Well, that was tough. But it was what I expected. Even though we're firm favourites, we're tired of the break and had to come from behind to level it. This could go either way in the second half. Napoli being the better team here. I've got to kick it up a gear, otherwise I think I'm going to lose this. They absolutely dominated possession in the first half. I was barely able to get the ball off them. So as the second half begins, my play style is counter-attacking. And I really do feel this. I need a little bit more of the ball in the second half. But if I am going to get a winning goal and a second goal, I think it will need to come through fast wing play, which is my preferred style. And here is Sir Maximin down the left, rolling it across. Great offload. And Newcastle are in front. Bruno Guimaraes. Gives us our first lead of the night. Second half begins and right from kickoff, working our way forward. Isaac with the offload and it's the Brazilian who gives us our first lead of the night. Stepping in from the left, Alexander holds it up. Offload to Guimaraes, Newcastle lead. Five minutes on the clock. I've done a good job of tightening up in the second half, but Napoli looking for that level to force extra time. Sven Botman comes out to win it, and now a chance on the break. It's to wrap this up. Widdick off the bench. There's Diaby. What a chance, and this should be it. This should be game. It's Musa Diaby to win the Champions League for Newcastle. Napoli pushed, but now I've lost my breath. Newcastle have held on and got the dagger. Musa Diaby, the difference maker so often this season, has wrapped it. Great ball out wide. Marrowry pushed up too far. And Diaby keeps his composure. Newcastle are going to win the double. And their first ever Champions League had to come from behind. But we have wrapped it. Diaby confirms it. Newcastle have won the Champions League. That's kind of how I saw that game going, really. Well, maybe not falling behind early, but really, really tight. Very tense. And, you know, I've mentioned so many times before, but those are the games I much prefer than those dominant victories. Had to come from behind to get the win, but we do run out 3-1 victors in the end. Fair play to Napoli, though. They, they, they really made that a tough game, especially in the first half. I felt once we got the foothold in the second and got that lead, then we really tightened up. But to begin with, they would have a much better team and, and really put me under a lot of pressure after taking the lead, especially as well. But man of the match, no doubt about it, Alexander Rizak uh, with the goal and also setting up the Guimar Reyes goal to give us the lead. It's fair to Diaby as well. I mean, I mean not, not really surprised. They both got a goal and assist each in the final. They've been my top two players all season long, Izak and Diaby, so I guess they can share the champagne. Guimar Reyes was great through the middle of the park as well. But yeah, Diaby and Izak, my top two this season, once again, coming up big when it matters most. So there it is, Newcastle 
United first ever Champions League and a great way to end the season and the save as well. I, I, I have to be honest, man. I, it's so funny, but you know, I said this year, obviously, I, I, you know, my main aim was win the Premier League. You know, win the Premier League this season and try and retain that FA Cup. Yeah, sure, go as far as you can in the Champions League, but even so, I. <laughs> I thought when we had that FA Cup run, football league sides all the way through to the semis, and then obviously taking on Wolves who beat in the final, I was thinking, oh, this is the year, man, this is the year. If we can't win the treble this year, then surely we won't get a better chance, really. And in the end, Wolves were the team that we uh, we got knocked out by getting a revenge after our win against them last year in the final. But even so, Champions League in the bag, Premier League in the bag. And whilst we may not win a treble, since we did win the FA Cup last year as well, we've won all three of those major, major, major honours in these two seasons. So that'll do it for me, Eddie and the boys as well. I'm more than happy ending the save there after just a two years. But... Great ending, I feel. You know, winning that Champions League. And uh, I love how the day afterwards, they're uh, annoying about, annoyed about the fact that we haven't invested in our youth development this year. I mean, I've just won us the Champions League and the Premier League in the same season. I think you can live with that, guys. Seriously. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll end it there then. Uh, on the back of the big eye, winning the Champions League. And we'll do one final uh, look at the squad uh, for this season and what we'll leave Newcastle with. Really, like I said before the game, like we, we're a five-star team now, so I don't really know how we could improve next year. You could probably say long-term success for trips at right back, possibly a better left back to replace Kieran Tierney and uh, have him drop to the bench. Maybe a long-term success for Joel Linton as well. But really, this is... This is such an amazing team. We'd keep on getting better, no doubt about it. But from next year onwards, I'd definitely say, with the right investment in the summer, you know, we just won the Premier League. We just won the Champions League. We would then be considered favourites, probably for all the major ones we'd be going for year after year. Say we've got like a world-class left back, like a Theo Hernandez, for example, and maybe a success for trips as well at right back. I don't see how anyone could stop us. So with that being the case, I think we are basically... Done. So, yeah, fantastic season, and we end our Newcastle United career mode on the back of a major, major high. Winning our first ever Premier League, winning our first ever Champions League, and with this team, I've got to say, brilliant, brilliant team that we assembled in these two years. And, and, and what I really like as well is the fact that we didn't just gut the whole team. I mean, most of the core remained here. Sven, Trips, Nick, Sandro, Bruno, you know, Joel Linton. Alexander, Alan. I mean, mo most of the team remained here. Yes, of course, we sold a few players, but for the most part, most of the team remained. We just added to it with what you call realistic quality. Bruno Guimar Reyes, 89 rating now. This guy is just such a baller, honestly. And of course, I uh, scored that goal in the final as well to put us in front. But yeah, I had a great time managing Newcastle United. This is my first ever time using Newcastle, by the way. This is my first ever time using the Magpies. In all the years I've done fewer CM, this was my first time managing Newcastle. Such an iconic old club, and it was so fun to use this team. Really, really fun. I can't believe it, take, it took me 12 years to finally give the Magpies a go. Really, really fun team. I had a great, great time building this side with realistic talent, homegrown talent coming back as well. It really was an absolute blast. So, guys, thank you so much for watching the Newcastle United Career Mode and also Season 2's finale as well. If you've enjoyed the project, then please do drop a like. You'll have a fantastic day. And I feel this so because my last two career modes have both been in the Premier League. Well, actually, no, Leeds was in the Championship, both in uh, in English football regardless. I, I feel I feel like I, I, I kind of fancy doing like a foreign-based career mode for my next one. So I'm going to start a new career mode very soon. I've already got the team, though, and I'm going to do like a foreign-based RTG. I've got a really cool team in mind, and uh, yeah, I think that's what I'll return with. Something a little bit different for my next project. Thanks for watching, though, guys. Much love to you all, and I'll see you for a brand new career mode starting very soon.